with some burnt sienna. And a little touch of cad yellow, not much. Here we go, and into a creamy consistency. So we're going to pop those around behind here. I'm looking to see a darker tone. You see the darker tone there? Never make your trees all the same uh, height. They look like soldiers in a row. We can't have that. We can't have soldiers in a row. It would be not a nice look. There we go. Bring that roof down there. So when you do trees, make a statement and then adjust your statement. So when I, what I mean by that is, I'll show you, splat. That's a big tree. Made a statement, and then I'm adjusting it. See? I can adjust these so they look a little bit more foliagey, if foliagey is a word. <laughs> and um, so, but make your statement, it'll look more natural. I'm just going to put a little bit of yellow on the tops there down here. I'm just going to refine around it first. And we'll just put in another tree here I think just to help that top of that roof. Bring him a bit closer. You see what happens to the roof immediately it pops doesn't it the wonderfully the wonderful thing about about uh, contrast or tone is it it's the king of your painting or the queen of your painting or the master of your painting it will always pop out a mid-tone into something more believable and it's always going to be king of your painting. Tone is going to be king. Uh, your composition and your colour and your, all the other things, edges come in secondary, but this is the king of your painting. Here's your, your lovely, lovely uh, contrast. Your tonal work is always going to be great. Okay, we've got some nice little windows to put in here, which is uh, yeah. That was difficult. There we go. Really hard work. Yeah. We've also got a nice little shadow on the back of here, which is nice. We'll get that in. Uh, down here we've got some more windows and bits and pieces and another little tree here in the front which will pop in here. See I made the statement and then adjusted it. You see that? Make the statement then adjust it. And this is starting to come together. Now that should be nearly dry. So we can start to put in some of those top little bits and pieces. A bit more, that's better. The building starts to come to life. You like my hat? Michelle bought me a hat. Uh, just because she loves me. Oh, I hope she does. See the, the statement of that dark against that light? Makes all the difference. Here's another tree. 
we might put another one here. Is it absolutely true to everything that's there? No, not necessarily, but it doesn't it tell the story? It just releases the story. Another line down there, which is just a directional line, really. This comes through here. See it looking wonderful. Now I can start to really work at bringing together and bringing to life this here we go, some trees coming down here. Wonderful. The reason I'm doing this now is so everything else needs to relate to this because this is my main motive, this is my main um, champion if you like. What am I going to do here? I might put another big tree in there, I reckon. Because that will... I know there's a big empty paddock there, but I think this is better because that starts to tell the story in a greater way. There we go. Put a nice dark down underneath it. There we go. What do you think? Better? Better than a big, warm, empty paddock? I think so. And we're still uh, staying true to the storyline of, of Dom. I'm liking that. You happy? Okay, now what's happening behind there? We've got some nice little yeah don't be frightened put in your marks look at that straight away that tells a story you're a confident painter look trees along that line another one there and that starts to be its own little look at that its own little painting, beautiful. Here, we've got some beautiful things happening by these other little cottages now. Look at that. Wow, I'm happy man. Really happy man. But can you see the, the, the importance of tonal differences now? Before it was all mid-tone, you can see it's all about the same tone with a few little marks there. But in real terms now, it's starting to come to life. And the only difference is uh, the differences between light and dark. Uh, for instance, a light house here, a dark tree behind it. Pump, bang, there it is. It's amazing. It's like magic. And the magic is always in tone. It's always going to be. And painting outside plain air is the best thing you can do to grow and develop. And you feel the breeze, you feel the, the love of the earth, you know? Oh, I could get romantic here. Eh? <laughs> oh yeah, she's up there somewhere. She'll be too busy thinking about shopping. Oh, there's things to see and do, and which is fine. Nice lights on these. That's better. Here we go. Bring that around. More darks back in here. Takes a little bit more time, but all these things now will <coughs> be good. Yeah, happy? Good. 
Look at that, all starting to work together. And it's shapes, and the pressure I put on my brush is sometimes like that, and sometimes it's, you know, just a daub and a dash here and a, uh, a dash there. Or a slash. I shouldn't say a daub, I told you not to daub. I said a bit of slash. Slash bash crash is bit so much better. There we are, refine that roof a little bit. There we go. Trees. There they are. And so many times we go um 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 don't we? No need for it. Might put a nice dark just there. <coughs> Refine that roof a little bit. There we go. Suddenly buildings appear. Hmm? You want to get to know your colours, remind me to tell you, give you some strategies when we get back home and how to get to know your palette and your, the colours you mix to get different things. Uh, you know, you say, you don't, well, I don't know what colours to mix to get this or get that. I'll, I'll give you some strategies, okay? But remind me, it's not for now, but it'll be for over then, over there then. Okay, we'll make this a nice, big... See the difference that makes? Another one here. A little more there. We need more trees. Got any comments or any questions? No? Big tree. It's happening down there. There we go. As I said, don't be frightened of anything. It's all there to be painted. There's no difficult subjects, only an opportunity in work clothes to come together to produce a lovely little piece. Make your roofs a little bit stronger, you know, here and there. That one. See how that works? Really nicely. We have to use that variation there we go another one there maybe all right we need some trees in come on terry you need to work quickly better <clears throat> Here. I think that's coming up nicely. Right, uh, we'll deal with this. What's happening here in relation? Beautiful. Coming down here, that's a little more yellow. I need to do that. 
up there, I just realised, there we are. That's better. Down underneath that, we've got to have some darks. Purpley darks. Underneath, yeah. And some trunks, fingernails, mm. wonderful stuff. Mm. Here we go. Isn't that nice? Yeah. <laughs> Let that bleed down into there. They're trees, mm -hmm. nice trees. Here we are. Just need to resolve this down by the front. Here. Change the green slightly. There we go. They're all very quiet. Can't believe it. Some really nice trees by the river, by the bridge rather. Hello little friend. Yep, it's there if you look. Swish of water. That gives me my reflection. Reflection. Is that a French French word? Reflection. I don't know. Let's refine these a little. I am going to let you paint soon, but. I thought if I get this pretty much finished, you guys will be able to see how it all works. Are you happy? That's the important thing. Happy to see that? It's nice. <coughs> Where the underneath of the Underneath of that foliage happens into the water. Looks like water, doesn't it? This side, I said 15 to 20 minutes, and I'm a little bit longer, so I'm humble apologies. Needs to be stronger with the edges. I'm talking straight away the strong edges. See what they what happens against the water. Pow. The bridge is looking cute now. <laughs> Your bridge. <laughs> well, sometimes that happens. Yeah, a bit of variation there. 